And now for the prophetic song for the state of California. And that's why I'm wearing my shirt proudly because it's the land is beautiful. And um, Amy Simple, Simple McPherson, she, she gave her life for this state. And many others, many others uh, have, have labored here. Think about Bethel. Think about uh, Doug Addison. Think about Johnny Enlow. Um, Aslan's Place. Uh, look at all these beautiful people. They're here. They're still here. And I want to bless the state of California. I'm not um, betraying. I'm not um, rejecting. Not in the least. I'm only going because God said I had to go. And so um, I want to uh, do what I did for Texas. Um, every state is beautiful. Every state has their personality and their DNA as a state, destiny, that's different from all other states. And we all need each other. And so, I mean, the Oregonians, oh, I fell in love with the Oregonians when I lived there. And I wrote a movie script based on how they put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So they're like, they are the ICU unit uh, when you go and your life has fallen apart. And uh, so in California, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to sing who, who California is. Um, I will always love you. <laughs> um, I'm trying to put my sheet, cheat sheet up here. And I will come back someday. But I am going to go to Texas and I'm going to assimilate into the culture and uh, not try to change anybody or um, expect them to accept, uh, you know, me to be something different. Like I'm a Californian, a California refugee, and that's, you know, I'm not going to. You know, I'm definitely not going to wear this shirt. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> because, the, you know, they are being invaded two ways, by the border and by the Californians. Uh, I just heard yesterday that um, there is a mass exodus out of California to the tune of over 100,000 people and businesses per month. That means over a million in one year. And... It, they don't mind. The Texans are so open-hearted and so big-hearted. They don't mind welcoming you in. In fact, they brought me to tears as I watched on David Harris as he's leaving California this week to go to Texas. And all the people saying, we welcome you, we welcome you, we love you. And uh, But it's they don't want their culture changed. And I am not going to do one thing to, to change it. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to line dance. <laughs> you know, I'm going to um, eat some barbecue. Oh, help me. <laughs> anyway, um, I had some pretty good uh, Southern cooking when I was there. That was pretty awesome, Mimi. Okay, and here we go. Uh, I better get the Kleenex, right? <laughs> all right, so when I used to tour all over the world with my 13 flutes, I said that every flute had a different healing function. And the reason I knew that is because God taught me. I did not learn that from a New Ager. I did not learn that from David Vancouvering. David Vancouvering had not come on the scene yet, so we didn't know anything about frequencies. I never mentioned the word frequencies, but that is what kind of got me ousted out of the church, is I said that every flute that I had had a different healing function. And the reason I said it is because God told me so. As I was playing, when people would pick a flute, the Lord would say to me, pay attention to what I sing through you after you play a certain flute. And as he did, I began to see it. I saw what each flute accomplished in the life of the person. And so um, I, was, I was saying that, and I got rejected for that. And even John Paul uh, reprimanded me for it. 
And I, I really didn't get that one because I was like, oh, what about, you are the symbol man, you know, you're all about numbers and colors and symbols and dreams and everything. But um, after he was in one of my concerts, he, he said, oh, Teresa, please forgive me. Forgive me. I did not know what you carried. I, I, I was wrong. I'm so sorry. And so thank God that he got it, you know, before he left. But so um, I, I could even see how each country, um, a certain flute fit that country. You know, when I was in um, Asia, like Hong Kong, China, it was the, the Irish harp. They wanted the harp every single time till I wanted to scream like, guys, pick something else, please. And, um, and then the Irish loved the Native American flutes, uh, like the dove flute. And why? Because they could relate to the massacre of the Native Americans. And um, this is the California flute. And I'm not going to explain why until I sing the song because it's in the song. It tells. I put it right in there. So I can talk about it afterwards. But I'm not going to get fancy right now. I'm not going to put music on because I don't know how distorted it's going to be. Hi, Mark and Pam. Oh, so nice of you to join. Okay, so I've already uh, told all the juicy details. Um, but uh, now I'm singing and playing this prophetic song for the state of California. So I'm, can I just do a real quick test and you tell me if this sounds distorted because I don't want to hurt your ears. <laughs> Somebody tell me, is it, if it's distorted, then I'm going to back up. I'll go with the first person who tells me. Oh, maybe I'm missing because it goes deeper. Oh, no, there's nobody there. Hello, somebody. <laughs> yes, it doesn't. Thank you, Sherry. All right. <laughs> I was like, are you guys still there? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. It must be delayed or something. All right, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs>
California. California. Yeah. Oh, you've been known as the Sunshine State. You've been known as the Golden State. Beautiful dreamer. Beautiful Kelly is friendly. Many people don't know haven't been here that you're friendly, that you're laid back and carefree and colorful emotional palette. You like to multitask when you're on the phone. You're good communicators, and you can promote up a storm. You got good ideas. At times you can be impatient and impulsive, but that's because you got such big dreams. You can't wait, you gotta get it done. Cause you gotta run, you got things to do. You're a double A personality. You have the ability to bring your dreams to birth. And you are bold and brave and beautiful, independent seekers. You seek after the mysteries. You're gold diggers, gold diggers. You know what you want and you know how to get it. You choose to live near the ocean cause you need to replenish. You have a unique way of thinking. Sometimes it gets you in trouble. But sometimes it results in excellence and innovation, all prophetic knowledge and revelation. You're big hearted people helpers. You give so much. People don't know you for that, but I do. Oh, I do. You're versatile, so even though it's dangerous here, it's hard here, it's expensive here, you have the ability to reinvent yourself over and over and over. So you can thrive, so you can keep going and live here cause you love it. You live here cause you love it. There's a reason why you stay when nobody understands that. There's a reason why you pay $4 a gallon for gas. Cause you get to live by the ocean and right around the mountains at the same time with the sunshine and you are like Morpheus and Neo and the Oracle all rolled into one you personify John Paul Jackson and Bob Jones all rolled into one yeah prophetic mystics with the gift of wisdom all oh, deep thinkers Writers, inventors, perceptive artists with visionaries. And a lot of you moved here from another state because you didn't fit in in the state you were in. So you moved out to the free state. You moved out to the free thinkers. Because you're risk takers. You're the Indiana Jones of the nation. Cliff jumpers. And this week the Lord told me the superhero that you remind him of. 
In fact, you're the real one. You're the real deal. They made the movie about Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, Big C, Big C, California. Oh, you're not done yet. You're not going down. Oh, no. You're going to be resurrected. I speak resurrection life to the state of California. You're going to be all right. You're going to recover. And the prices are going to come down because the evil's going to come down real soon, real soon, real soon. Because you're the leaders, prophetic world leaders. You're going to go through hell like you have been in Egypt, but you're going to come forth back to life and change the whole world. World changers. You're equal left and right brained. You have the DNA to make money and fuel the kingdom. Whoa, and I'm going way off my notes because the Lord is taking over. The Lord is avenging the state of California. Oh, he's got big plans for you. He's got big plans for you, yeah. It's going to be good. I see gold. I see gold. Yeah, in them hills and the hearts of the Californians. I see gold in the arms. I see gold in the eyes of the Californians. Oh, you're going to bring it on. You're going to bring it on in miraculous ways because you're the seekers after the mysteries. And he's going to download to you everything you ask for and you're gonna fly and you're gonna do miracles to get through this you see you're gonna do miracles because you have to look for it ask for it wait for it it's gonna happen yeah 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 multi-talented people who can do anything miracle workers who don't believe in the impossibility you tackle big things on a big scale you're overcomers with a passion for justice yeah You're gonna lead the way right smack into the promised land. You've been under Pharaoh for years, but you're gonna come out and lead us. And you will take the land back and the gold back. And you have been the salad bowl of the world. And, I, and I've noticed how that Californians tend to be fit and more healthy and men keep their hair here. They do. I mean, you can see in a person, a man who's in his 80s or more, and he's got a thick head of hair because this is the salad bowl. So we get the food right off the plant, farm to fork, which means it's full of life and nutrients. And life breeds life. And so the, the body, you stay younger longer and you, you stay healthy and trim. And so, but this is what the Lord said to me. You've been the salad bowl of the world, but you are going to become the nurturers. And you have been, but even more so, the nurturers and the natural. You're going to feed the nation the supernatural nuggets and revelation that you're going to come up with for your own survival. See, that's what I do. I teach by example. When I go through hell, I find my way out, out of the wilderness, and then I pass it on to everybody else. That's what California is going to do. There's a reason for all of this. It's, it's a boot camp. It's boot camp in the entire state. And when that happens, you will become known as the state where fresh revelation manna comes from. And it'll flow out from you like a river of gold, sustaining the rest of the nation and the world for mass revival and harvest. You're the harvesters. And isn't that amazing that I was drawn here, I was sent here from Michigan, and my name means reaper, harvester. You will throw off the yoke of the oppressor. And I got Isaiah 52 for you, deliverance for California. Wake up, 
Sleeping Beauty. Clothe yourself with strength, O California. Put on your garments of splendor, city of angels. For the uncircumcised and unclean will not enter you again. Shake off the dust, rise up and sit. Tall in a dignified place, California. Remove the chains from your neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For this is what the Lord said. You were sold for nothing and without money you will be redeemed. For this is what the Lord says. At first my people went down into Egypt to live and then your government oppressed you without cause, Teresa Griffith paraphrased. <laughs> and now what have I here, declares the Lord, for my people have been taken without cause. Those who rule over them taunt, declares the Lord, and my name is blasphemed all day long. Therefore my people will know my name. Therefore, they will know on that day that I am he who speaks. Here I am. Here I am. There will be no white flag upon my door because I'm in love. He's in love with you. How beautiful upon the mountains are your feet, California. That's why you wear sandals because you're feet are so beautiful in every place the sole of your sweet sandal treads i will give it to you take it take the land it is the time to take the kingdom rise up ye strong possess the land for every power and dominion is given now into your hands rise up don't sit there and take it anymore you will be the proclaimers of peace and bring good news to the nation in conflict. You're the ones who will pro proclaim salvation and who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices. Together they shout for joy, for every eye will see when the Lord returns to California. Break forth in joy and sing together of the governmental ruins. The Lord has comforted his people in Cali. He has redeemed you in advance of the war. In advance of the war. In advance of the war. Do not be afraid. The Lord has bared his holy arm for you in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of God for you. And the whole nation needs to stop cursing the ground of California. Because wherever a, a, a child of God is standing, it's holy ground. Their destiny as they stand and live in this state is holy ground. So don't you dare curse the state any longer. Please. We're stronger together. We're part. We're, we're still part of the nation. We need to link arms and love and support in prayer. You will not leave in a hurry, nor flee in haste or in fear, for the Lord goes before you and the God of Israel will be your rear guard. Behold, you will prosper and be raised and lifted up. And the rest of the nation will not be appalled at you any longer. Beautiful dreamer. Yes. <laughs> and I will be cheering you on from Texas, and I will be praying and interceding for you. Like I said, till the day I die. And at some point, when the political smoke has cleared, and in the, it has been purged out. I'm going to come back and help rebuild because there will be some rebuilding that needs to take place. But we're going to win and we're going to win within a year and a half. We're going to win. It's going to be all right. It's going to be beautiful. It, and the sun is going to shine again. It's going to be a bright, 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 sunshiny day again <sighs> I 
thank you so much for your prayers. Um, please click on the link. I will put the link for um, the amazing adventures of Teresa Trek so that you can join and um, keep up to date. And then also the newsletter um, in case something happens with Facebook where they can us. Um, my last live um, on Facebook was pretty gutsy and uh, it, you know, I might be marked so I could go down. But, um, all right, so, so make sure you watch that one if you didn't, all right? And again, share this. Share this with every Californian you know and the rest of the nation because we are all Americans after all. We're all one family, and we have to stand together. So just share it if you would. Let's go viral and spread the love. All right, bye-bye.